try to emphasize this as much as possible. The uh, raw tool output is of course use, very useful for uh, maybe useful for researchers, but our analysis it's more of a what not to do, what to do differently, maybe in some cases what, what to do right, but only a small part of it really. I, I want to again emphasize that if uh, there are issues, uh, try to blame us, not the, not the tool makers first. Because if there is a problem, it's probably because we did not analyze it right. I feel like the elephant in the room is that, well, who, who actually has taken the time to actually rack and stack these and objectively done quantitative analysis of these tools relative to each other? So I don't know if that question has been asked, but you know, Gartner has studies out there that are kind of qualitative. I've done some research myself in terms of that's fairly quantitative, but do you know of any research that we can look at to actually rack and stack these tools? Yeah, I mean, are you aware of any research that actually objectively or qu quantitatively compares the analysis and the yeah. results? Yeah, it's our goal. It's our goal to, 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 to make this much better. It's, uh, oh, you were asking about... Is there anything currently out there today that... There are several studies done by other people. Are, are you going to publish the raw data so that some, if someone wanted to go finish the work that you started, you could complete the analysis and then use the data that you've already collected to rack and stack the tools? Well, we are, uh, we are definitely going to publish the data from the tools. And we are, we, I mean, our plan is to publish all the data, but we are now looking into how to do it so that, uh, so as to, uh, publish the right thing and not to publish our mistakes. But uh, we are definitely, I mean, would love to, somebody else to complete this. Um, we have uh, one of the one of the challenges that has come up just in the just in the past few days through talking with various participants is, and a, a big concern that we have is people misusing the data to come up with the, the wrong sort of conclusions, right? especially given that the data is so noisy and it is so complete that we only have 12% coverage. So if, for example, we were to publish all the raw tool data plus our own incorrect conclusions, everyone knows what the first thing is that's going to happen, right? Everyone's going to go to the raw data, calculate some numbers and go, oh, that tool is better using our, using our bad data. So we're very sensitive to that. We don't want to encourage that in any sense. So now it, it poses a little bit of a challenge to us as to how much data do we publish uh, and, and, and how do we publish it in a way that minimizes potential incorrect conclusions being used with it. So that's a challenge that we're going to be facing in the, in the coming months up to December. I have another question here in the back. Have, have you considered expanding this to also compare black box tools versus white box tools and see the, the differences? Uh, yes, yes, we are very interested uh, in, in doing, we could do another track. Uh, in the future, we, have, uh, we could do a track for a black box tool, for black box tools, and this would definitely be interested to uh, have the comp uh, this comparison to what kind of things the black box tools find versus the white box tools, yes. Okay, I think that's all the time we have. If you have any additional questions, you can kind of ask, ask, come up to the stage and ask off to the side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be getting started with the next talk in about 10 minutes. So uh, if you have an opportunity.